Of course, I read with interest uh, about Booby Gate. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you were Regina, like a whole titty, a whole titty popped out, and Sterling didn't know. <laughs> she, she was mad at me. I was like Regina. I was looking you in the face. Like this is where the scene is happening, and she's like, she just left it. Like you didn't even see. I'm like Regina. We put you. Anyway, what was your wife's reaction when you told her what happened? She laughed. She laughed. Like, I've told her crazier stories than this. There's things that I can't say for public consumption or whatnot. Oh, I would say do tell, Sterling. Do tell. I can, I can give you, like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, Sterling, you are not doing me any favors because uh, I saw the story um of how you and your wife met and you started off kind of in the friend zone correct we most definitely started in the friend zone we lived in the same dorm fresh year before i even got a chance to like express any kind of interest she got swooped up by some junior you know and we were doing our first play together and riding our bikes together then she'd be like spying on him because he was unfaithful you know what i'm saying just you know the silly type stuff and then I realized after hanging out with her, like, this is a cool lady. I actually like her, but couldn't express anything until after she broke up with my friend. And yeah, that, that's how it yeah, started. Yeah, that was that. So I have this argument with my husband all the time about whether men and women can be friends. And you are not helping my case. He was like, no, me and Lay in the cut. We just wait for the opportunity. And I don't deny that happens. Yes. But I am of the opinion that yes, men and women I can. I think be they friends. can. Right. I think it's harder the younger you are because testosterone gets the best of you. But especially like now I have a multitude of women friends that make my life so much richer. So like if you can control yourself, women are the best friends you can have. And see, I I like to think that we can contribute and men too. like men are I've had been fortunate enough to have good male friendships um, throughout the course of my life. But when I read the backstory, I was like, Sterling, I help it. He's not helping right now. <laughs> not in, the beginning. in the beginning, I was just like, I'm going to wait my time. Here it comes. Yeah, so. and clearly uh, you played the long game and it, and it worked out. But um, of course, I read with interest uh, about Booby Gate. Uh, <laughs> you were Regina, like a whole titty, a whole titty popped out and Sterling didn't know. <laughs> she, she was mad at me. I was like, Regina, I was looking you in the face. Like, this is where the scene is happening. And she's like, she just left it. Like, you didn't even see. I'm like, Regina, will you put your titty away? (laughs) And honestly, this is a compliment to your wife. I don't know. This is a compliment. She got you trained, Sterling. (laughs) The wife has me on point. Like, anytime you do what, what we do, um, Jamel, it's a weird thing. You have to be intimate with other people or whatnot. And people always ask, like, how you do that? Da, da, da. Number one, you introduce them to your wife immediately. Like the first thing you do, hey, this is Ryan over here. And everybody's always real cool. As long as Ryan knows them and she understands it, like they have a respect for the union, then she's able to be like, all right, bro, go do your thing. I know nothing crazy is going on besides the work, just the work. What was your wife's reaction when you told her? What happened? She laughed. She laughed. Like, I've told her crazier stories than this. There's things that I can't say for public consumption or whatnot. Oh, I would say do tell, Sterling. Do tell. I can, I can give you, like, uh, uh, uh. come on, give me, like, one. give me one. There's there's aromas attached to sensuality that when people are rubbing up against one another, and I'll be like, wife, you should, like, it was, there was an aroma. And she's like, Really? And I, and I was like, yeah, she's like, I wonder if people think I have an, I'm like, no, nah, I'm just, this was my story. You're supposed to listen to me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, you know, doing something, doing the same thing as your partner, like it has its ups and downs, but like the fact that we can talk about this aspect of the game and neither one of us takes it personally. We're like, did you have fun? Were you able to concentrate on the job? Like I would hate for my wife to have to hook up with somebody that she found absolutely unattractive or like who had the ptosis up in the back of the mouth or whatnot. Mm, like nobody mm. wants to deal with anything like that. I just want them to have a good time and come home and take whatever energy you got and we can, we can share it with each other. So uh, like a lot of people, Sterling, I watched her Black Love episode with your wife who is wonderful i don't even know her but i was like i feel like we would get along all right so, I, love, I love her and and me and my husband have been on on back love and i, I love the series just because they 
it gets to the core of what makes marriage work. And what I find so interesting about you two, seeing you in the same space, you all both have big personalities, right? You have very fun personalities. So how does that dynamic kind of play out in your marriage? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great observation, number one. And as a married person, you understand even before you even ask the question. Um, why is Leo Brown is an Aries? Two, five. Oh my God, my husband is a Leo. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You understand. Yeah. Understand yeah. a little bit. Um, I love my wife. I love just how big and broad she is. She's one of my favorite, most funniest people in, in the world. Um, I think going back to doing the same thing. So let me give you the synchronicity of it. You may have done your, your research or whatnot, but both born in St. Louis, Missouri. Both went to Stanford University, did our first play together there. Both went to grad school at NYU. Both graduated and wound up at the same agency. Let me go back again. We were born in the same hospital in St. Louis, Missouri, right? But we met freshman year college. So we had this sort of synchronicity in terms of our careers. We were kind of like doing the same thing at the same time. She got pregnant. I impregnated her. Let me just say that, you know, <laughs> I, had, I had something to do with that whole you process, did. right? You did. And then shortly after, um, OJ happened, right? So she sort of had to take a step back from her career, you know, Hollywood, body consciousness, et cetera, et cetera, getting to where she felt good to be out and put her, her, her talents out into the world. And then something happened that like allowed me to sort of move in another direction. Right. And so both same personalities, both same beginnings, et cetera. But like we had something real to negotiate in terms of like, bro, we used to be like this. And now, like, you know, it's a little bit different. Um, it, it, it is what I try to do because we do the red carpet together almost all the time. Like my wife is a star. My wife told me one time, she said, you know, Sterling, there can only be one star in the family. And I said, is that so? And she said, yes. And I said, well, who's the star in our family? She said, you are Sterling. And I said, <laughs> I said, am I? She said, why is that? She's like, because everybody loves Sterling. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Sterling. Everybody just loves Sterling. That's one of the like favorite things to do. So I try to make sure that my wife gets her shine as much, if not more than me, when we get a chance to be together. Because there's one thing to know for yourself. And I think at the end of the day, this is still the most important thing. You have to believe that you are the shit, right? When nobody else knows it, before anybody knew who Jay Hill was at SKB, in our minds, it was like, yo, I can write. Yo, I know this game. I can break this down. Once somebody gives me an opportunity, then they'll all know. But like, you have to know it for yourself. There's, you have to have that knowing, but God, does validation from the industry that you're in help a great deal. And so like, I'm happy that my wife, my wife just got finished doing the end game. She did first wise club. Like she's been doing big things and whatnot because it's hard being known as Jay Hill's husband or Sterling K's wife. They have names, they are human beings and they need to be recognized as such. So I think for us who get the spotlight, making sure that our partners feel seen just as much as 